Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today guys, I want to talk about why only 0.01% of people will ever see real success, meaningful success, a sizable amount of money in trading. And what I mean by a sizable amount of money is like 30 to 50 grand plus. And of course, at the end of the day, it's completely arbitrary, okay? Like for someone, a lot of money would be a million, for other people, a thousand bucks would be insane if they can make that from trading, okay? I get it, in this scenario though, I'm talking, if you do not make at least 30 to $50,000, then that is not a insanely sizable amount of money for all of the time that you have spent learning trading, okay? And only 0.01% of people are going to get to the point where you're making six figures a year, year after year after year, okay? Only 0.01% of people are going to do that, okay? The reason for that is they are not, most people, okay, the reason that most people do not see success is because they're trading the wrong things, right? When, when I'm gonna get into this example, when today, um, what was it, GNLN was up 600%, 600% at one point. There were people trading Meta, ES, NQ, Reddit stock, like just terrible opportunities, okay? The thing that you have to realize, and I'm not sure if you guys know, day trading just in itself is a losing game. Now, I don't mean it's just, you're just, you're, you're going to lose. What I mean by that is, if you take every single setup ever that you ever see, there is not a high chance that you're gonna become successful, okay? Successful trading is picking the window of time every single day that there is the highest probability that your trade will go in your favor, okay? I don't understand why people ever say that like trading, you're, you're supposed to trade eight hours a day. That is absurd, I can't even imagine. The, the mar markets aren't even moving like six hours out of the day, okay? Like there's just not that great of moves. And if you sit down every single day and you're trying to catch every single different move, first of all, you're gonna miss most of them, okay? you're gonna miss most of them. Second of all, you are going to get chopped up in terrible moves, okay? Moves where you think that the stock is gonna go up, but literally all it's doing is just doing this all day long, okay? And then you just get stopped out because it's barely moving, okay? Trading has always been the easiest when the market or whatever stock is absolutely flying, okay? And I'll show you guys this example in a second. When GNLN opened, okay, it absolutely rocketed up. And then, and that was, that was in the pre-market, then sold off. You should not have been trading GNLN until it exploded, volume surged then there is a opportunity, okay? For everyone else, they got stopped out because they were trying to trade in a time frame that the market wasn't actually allowing the best opportunity. They got stopped out, they didn't make money. Even if, let's say they could have made money on the actual move here at like three o'clock, they're already out they bounced out, they can't make any more money on it, right? They're already red for the day, they're done, okay? And that's why only 0.01% of people can actually see massive success. Because to get in the top 1%, it's just don't lose money, okay? Be good at managing your emotions, managing your risk, build intuition, sure, sure, sure. But if you have great emotions and great trading psychology, but you're taking terrible setups all the time, stuff that's not in play, you're not going to make money, okay? If it's a losing setup, if it's a bad setup, it does not matter 
if you're unemotional and you're not going to be moving your stop and you won't revenge trade. That's great, but if you just take L after L after L after L, having great trading psychology and a great mindset and all that will not pay you anything. Okay? And that's the thing. It's I'm trying to think of a good example here, but it it would basically be like trying to race in a F1 race with like a busted out, clapped out Toyota Corolla from like 1997 or something. Like that's basically what you're doing. Even if and like you could put Lewis Hamilton behind the wheel, okay, or Max Verstappen, they're not going to be able to finish even like not even dead last okay like they're 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 not going to do anything because they're in the wrong vehicle it doesn't matter if they take the corner perfectly and have perfect exit velocity out and they're just going to be getting lapped 24 7 because they're not in the right vehicle however if you took let's say max verstappen and obviously had an f1 race he's probably going to win why because he's super good at driving and just overall racing and he's in a vehicle an f1 car that's equipped to handle and compete in the race okay if you are trying to trade where the market is not doing anything you are not going to make money it does not matter who you are okay so Please just remember this. You need to only be trading stuff that is in play. Okay? You might get lucky sometimes where there's like a little move on Tesla or ARM or something, right? But more times than not, the longer that you stay trying to catch those like little moves that you don't really see anything there the more time that you're probably not gonna be right on the trade. It's really gonna hurt your win rate, which in return is just gonna really hurt your PL. And if you trade stuff that's absolutely perfect, that's moving great, there's a lot of volatility, you will get bailed out a lot of times, okay? If you're trading something, like I'm gonna show you guys again in a second, so keep watching on GNLN. If you trade the breakout on that, you have a way higher chance of making money than if you traded. Um, what's another one? Let me just check real quick. Uh, what's another one? Let's say um, let's say Apple. Even though it did have a little bit of a breakout, okay, just real quick. Even though Apple had a little bit of let's say a breakout here at the open, okay. Um, this was not like absolutely solid. Okay, it's only up 0.6 percent for the day. Okay, that that is nothing. All right. However, let's go look at GNLN. All right. Look at that. Boom. Well, what time is that? 8:30. I think some news came out. Absolutely rocketed this thing up. You could have even caught this in the pre-market while it was absolutely squeezing. Even if, let's say, you buy here, like you buy the breakout of, let's say, five, okay? And on, let's be honest here, at the end of the day, uh, you should not just be random, randomly buying uh, when stuff is up, okay? Yes, you can buy high and then sell higher, but in this case, when literally the five-minute candle like didn't even print yet until this thing crossed five, like, I don't know. To me, at least, that just doesn't seem like a good trading opportunity, but whatever. Um, then here, yes, at the end of the day, you could have maybe gotten in here, expected it to go up for a breakout and then taken it out. Of course, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. I almost even got stopped out in there too. Okay. But the thing is, this is where you should have been watching 10.78. Okay. This high of day, this is what I was watching all day long. Okay. When did that happen? Right here at, what time is that? 14.40, so 2.40. Boom. And then look at that. Massive squeeze up. Massive squeeze up. And sure, crazy dump afterwards. Was not expecting that in the slightest. But right here, 
is where you make all your money. Okay? That is where you lit literally will make all of your money. Now, let's go to um let's go to Qcom, all right? Is there really like that great of a move like you 100% would have known that Qcom was going to bounce here? I mean, not really. Maybe you could have played this along with the market, but I really just don't see an absolutely great opportunity on Qcom. Now, this also might have been moving with Nvidia or SMCI or something. Um, and this isn't even like the worst example. Uh, so let's go to, yeah, Reddit. Okay, this is actually phenomenal. Okay, this is Reddit stock. Why are you trading Reddit when its max range was basically 50.86? to 52.83 okay 52.83 was the maximum range i mean there's nothing here and then there's there's absolutely no volume okay there is literally no volume 4000 these are minute candles 4000 look at that 300 300 shares that is absolutely nothing absolutely nothing and then take again g l sorry g n l n and look look at these minute candles um 285,000 417,000 650,000 okay that is what you guys need to be trading all right, you guys need to be trading the GNLNs. And of course, guys, those don't happen all the time. Okay, that, that's the hardest thing, right? It's it's not easy to only choose like the best, like the best S tier setups, okay? And guys, I'll be honest here, okay? There's times that I still will try to look for bad, bad setups, okay? And what I mean by that is like, I'll have a stock, like let's say Qcom, that would be up like crazy one day, and then maybe the next day, maybe the next day after that, I won't really see anything else, so I'll still kind of watch it, but there's just not that great of an opportunity. And honestly, watch this on GNLN. What's gonna happen? Is GNLN gonna come all the way back down, or is this gonna be a multi-day runner? I don't know. That's why you have to watch it, but just, if you can try, to limit how many times you trade these stocks or indices that just really aren't moving. Like honestly, even today, let's go back to uh, the chart and let's look at ES. So um, ES actually was not terrible, okay? Low was 5350 and then high was like 5390, okay? That's not bad at all, that's like 40 points. However, this action is just not the best, okay? Crazy dump. And then what, like 10 minutes of consolidation or 15 minutes? And then absolute melt your face off rally. And then big dump. Looks like it's gonna bear flag, massive squeeze. Looks like it's gonna go back up, massive dump. Massive squeeze, massive dump, okay? That is, like, that is just not good to trade, okay? And of course, again, you don't know what's going to happen, okay? The, guys, there's been so many times where I've thought that the market is not going to be great at all, and then ES just rallies 100 points out of nowhere, okay? And that stuff will happen, okay? You will miss out on stuff. You'll think that the market's going to be insane today, and nothing happens. You'll think that, that nothing's going to happen, and the market's going to be unbelievable, okay so that's also why i have to show up every single day but just try to trade stuff that's actually in play okay look for stuff with volume look for stuff where the r vol is like way over one okay like at least two three okay where the relative volume is very very high where where you're in your trading discord or twitter and everyone's talking about this stock right? That is when you should be trading that stock, okay? And that's when all your focus should be on that stock because the majority of profits come from a small amount of opportunities, 
okay? I think very, very rarely people will make like one percent, like one percent of their P, like they'll trade a hundred different names, like one percent of their P and L will be like on like each each different name. Usually, it's like at least fifty percent came from this one name, this or this other name, or just like a uh, a handful of names. Okay, because those provided the best opportunities. People made seven to like eight figures trading GME and AMC earlier this year. Okay, if you just traded stuff that was not in play for the majority of the year, like a Reddit, a AVGO, a Mira, a whatever, okay, Disney, JP Morgan stock, whatever, you are not going to be putting up those numbers at all, okay? And again, this is why like only 0.01% of people can actually get to that spot where they're making a lot of money from trading because they just don't know this. They, they don't know that the key to like almost instantly improving your win rate, your strategy, everything is just by trading stuff that's has a way higher chance of just moving in your favor. And yes, it's not going to happen as often, but so what? Okay, at least have a higher chance of being right, at least just be right and make money than have an ego and want to trade and make money every single day. That's just not how trading works, okay? It's not how it works. It's check back over the course of a year, okay? It's not a nine to five. You don't make exactly the same amount of money every single day, month, okay? You could have a terrible year and then boom, last month you go make a million bucks just because the market's so insane, right? That is how trading works. So. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully this helps you guys just identify what you can do. And this is something that is so easy, guys. So easy to do. And really quickly, I will give you guys a free tip. Um, if you guys want to find stocks that are moving, get a scanner, look at this. What's at the top of the list? GNLN, okay? This is Webull, just download it. Uh, go to the uh, markets tab up here and then just sort um, sort by percent change and now mine will be already like this because I just have it um, but you kind of think just like click here and it should be uh, you should be able to sort it and uh, yeah look for whatever has a lot of volume look at the spark line see if it's actually moving great and uh, yeah you know you can find stocks that are in play so it's that easy. Um, you guys really should not have any trouble finding these stocks. They are actually very, very easy to find. Um, but yeah, I also have a free Discord. Uh, was calling out GNLN uh, all day today. So if you guys want to join that, the link is in the description. It's completely free. And if you guys love the video, just like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.